internet, your friendly neighborhood gremlin here. And today, the winner of our vacation home sweepstakes is Admiral. Though it wasn't supposed to be. We were supposed to be doing Sparrow. But apparently he was standing there on the 16th rather than the 17th, which is where we ended up. In my defense, they are both birds, and they were both standing in the same spot. And I really had to look up who had the request to figure out it was Sparrow. I had no idea. I just saw Admiral and then assumed that he was him. I should probably pay a little bit more attention when I do these things. The only reason it actually bothers me at all is that I try not to do the same thing twice in a row. And these are both like cabins, kind of. I don't know. Maybe it's not as similar as I thought. Maybe we're okay. Well, I mean, this is what we have anyway, so it has to be okay. I also wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to what it was he asked for, because he asked for like a cool country cabin, which I imagine is not one that is in winter, but I thought cold, and then we went to cozy, so it's like a cozy country cabin rather than a cool one. It's got a fan in it. I'm sure it's cool inside and outside. It's very cold outside. So he will take what he gets and he will like it. I mean, he's lucky that he didn't go full cabin in the woods on him, which is only something that occurred to me now, so he wasn't in any danger of that. But, um, next time, maybe? Sorry, we should really talk about the build, shouldn't we? I do think, all things considered, the build went pretty well. I did manage to do that window table chair thing that we tried to do yesterday, and I mean, it had to fit, because this build ends up being an 8x8, so it's pretty big. It was not in the original plan, but having this screen in front of the bathroom like that was very important, and so we made it bigger. I do try to do some sort of like Japanese touches like that. Obviously, this is not like a Japanese build, and I think that was kind of what he wanted because most of the things he asked for were Japanese inspired, and I kind of went away from his vision. So I tried to sneak like some things in there that might help. I don't know. He doesn't actually feel bad because he's not real, and they just tell you they like it anyway. I am also really into the castle wall that I put inside. I think that's the first time I've put castle walls inside. Maybe it's not, but I wanted a divider between the bedroom and the kitchen, and I didn't want it to be another wall. I mean, technically it is another wall, but it's not the same kind of wall that the other wall is. There's like space above it, right? Who knows really? And I didn't like any of the other dividers, so this is what we went with. I'm not sure if any of y'all care, but we did move the Let's Plays to a separate channel, because while I'm not particularly bothered that nobody watches them and they get very little views, but it makes the YouTube algorithm very mad, and then it doesn't show the next video to very many people. Like, it really cuts impressions hard. So I thought we would try this, and hopefully it'll be better for the channel. We also give him a Go board. It doesn't really fit in there, but also I kind of wanted it to be there. And so, then it was. Have any of you ever played Go? I have no idea about it, like, at all. I don't know much about any of those classic board games, to be fair. We're just sort of getting down to the gritty details of the inside. Like, I'm gonna have to get rid of that lamp. I don't know. I kind of really like it, but I also find it very hard to use. We even try it next to the bed when I decide that we need to have a teacup next to the couch. It doesn't work there either, so it did sort of get left behind. So it uh, just hit me, literally right now, that I think maybe I gave him exactly the opposite of what he wanted. Because essentially what he's asking for is like a place to keep cool, which implies a cool cabin in a warm place. And what I did was a warm cabin in a cold place. Not sure that's the same thing. Though I guess if he came up here from a warm place, it would be colder. He would still be cool. He wouldn't be too hot anymore. So did we fulfill the brief? Let me know down below. We do have to wonder about my brain sometimes. Also the fact that this has only hit me now. I mean, we've been doing this for hours now. So, um, maybe that's a little bit concerning. I don't know. The things you think of while you're talking yourself through a build kind of amazes me sometimes. I have the house to myself, which is a terribly rare occurrence here. And in between takes, I've just been singing musicals. I really love how that iron shelf fits perfectly above the bed. The plant next to it doesn't quite so much, but um, we were committed. I probably should have just swapped it, because then we wouldn't have the problem of the frame being too close to the wall there. Didn't occur to me at the time, of course not, but I do believe this is the inside done, so uh, let's go head outside and deal with the snow. I don't know so much that I'm ready for the festive season. I find Christmas to be very stressful, which isn't a lot of fun, but I mean, here in Canada, Christmas can start the 1st of November, because our Thanksgiving is early in October. Though, um, retailers have not yet understood this, and uh, they start putting Christmas shit out in August, which it's not okay. Like, actually, genuinely not okay. 
I mean, not all of them, but I've seen Christmas shit as early as August. I did end up cutting a lot of the outside out, just like the boring bits, like me repeatedly placing an item or trying to figure out where I want the trees and the bushes and stuff to go, because that stuff is boring to watch. You do watch me build the whole fence though. Really couldn't tell you why, but it felt important at the time of editing. I did give him a cute little fishing spot on the side, thinking that I probably should have put a chair down. How will we at the bench? But I think a chair would have been a better decision. The outside really ended up kind of simple, and then he just got a farm full of weeds, because it's winter, I guess? I have no idea. Imagine it's a farm in the summertime. Is it ever summer here? And then he gets a retro transportation stop to be like a shed in the back, which was nice. I don't know. I thought it was cute. But we have made our way to the review. So if you liked the build or just had a good time hanging out with me, you could hit the like button. Or you can leave me a comment down below about the build or about literally anything at all. And if you think you might like to do this again sometime, you could hit the subscribe button. Not posting on this channel every day has screwed up my outro, which is kind of stressful. That's the thing you comment down below, what the outro should be now that we've screwed everything up. And I mean, technically, you could still see me tomorrow if you wanted to. Just hop over to the other channel. So, I don't know. This is way too much pressure. <laughs> it really shouldn't be. I'm sorry. Look, at this point in the day, it was either that ramble or the Sour Patch Kids thing. But I don't think I want to give you details about how sick I was on the internet. Because it's kind of gross. Or I guess I could talk you through our outfits? I don't know. They aren't really anything exciting. I had to shove him in a sweater dress. Because it was the best I could do. Can't tell you what it is about him, but he was very hard to dress. Lacey looks good in glasses? And then I'm just a green and purple monstrosity. Mostly that fleece sweater just screams winter to me. So, um, that happened. I don't know, I think it's cute. But I guess I'll see y'all on Sunday. Goodbye! I don't know, is that any good? It just doesn't feel quite right, but what can we do?